Hi everybody, how are you? So today we are going to create an add, no add notes page. We are going to add a float action button that will redirect us to a new page that we are going to create the form to, to add notes, okay? So we come here in the uh, Quasar documentation in the float action button uh, uh, documentation and we are going to create this type of button that is a very used button in Android material design okay so let's see the the source code and let's copy the part that creates the this float action button let's paste it on the index page let's see how it looks like it looks like that Let's change this color. Let's use the primary color. The primary color is the color that is in everywhere. This is actually blue. We can change it. And we are going to send the user when the user click here to a page that is the dash add. And now we need to, to create this page. Yeah, okay. So let's come here, create a new file, the add.view, and let's copy this content. Let's change here, name to add. Let's remove the parts that we don't need to use. We are going to have only one note, okay? It is no by default here. We are not need all this content. So let's just put a lot in just to check it is working. And now we need to add this page here. How the, the Quasar knows that this uh, URL sends to this page? We need to tell to Quasar which URL sends to each page. So here in the file, the folder holder, we have the file roads.js. We open it and we just need to duplicate this entry and add a new road that will be the add uh, URL that will send to the add page. Okay, so let's come back to this page and let's see if it is working it is so now we are going to start to to create the form inside this page so let's let's come here in the forms component you are going to add first thing an input text field that will be the title let's just copy this this outline it that is the I think is the actually the input of the new material design on Android. It is the this input. Okay, let's copy that and paste it here. And we are going to need also a text line, a text area. So let's come here in the text area component. Let us copy this code and let's paste it here. Let me see how it looks like. It doesn't look like so beautiful. We are going to need we are going to to need to use some uh, uh, size or grid items. So here we are going to need to use <coughs> the Q form component. It is a form used to group the, the inputs in it is a <coughs> component used to group widgets in Quasar. Okay. So let's I didn't fix this indentation. I don't like these break lines. Nice, okay. 
let's see how it looks like now it looks a little more beautiful I think we need also also to use um, let me fix this indentation using the space to okay better and we are going to need also choose grids so let me check here in layout and grids this where we have rows okay uh, let me check this is a thing that always happens in, in programming we all, always need to check the documentation it's very common so I think I can use this row okay I put here a hole and close this div and we need to make this look like a column we need to close another another div oh. and to close another div and this will have a size of 12 that is the full size let's see how it looks like uh, uh, uh. there is something wrong there's some errors here Ah, this is because I'm using this V model text and I doesn't have um, text variable. Let me refresh. Okay. Um, how I can make it looks a little more beautiful. Let's check here again in the form section. I like this example. This example looks nice. So let me copy. Let's copy, okay? Ah, maybe I forgot this class. Let's check now. How it looks like. Well, it adds some space here. Uh, um. Maybe uh, feel that if I copy all these components, how it it goes goes to look like. So we can replace then after. I need to remove this method that I don't I don't have. I don't have this variable. I don't have these rules. I don't have these rules. I don't have this toe. I don't need I don't need this toggle. I don't need this reset button. Let's see how it looks like. I need to to improve the, the size. Yeah. I'm going to, to look the issue that I'm having with the size and I'm going to come back. So I discovered what, what happens. If I use this Q page component, it makes the the content have it is real size and center in the in the page and if I remove it it is going to fit out the page but I need to I need to add some class here in my in my column. Let's go back here to the to the documentation. Let me search here. I think it is spacing. Okay. So here they have a very complete documentation uh, of spacing, of padding, of margin, and which place I wanna I wanna put it. Okay. So what we are going to do is to add here a Q M because we are going we are gonna use margin, and we are gonna 
put a margin everywhere. So we are going to make A and we are now use let's check for auto to add this margin everywhere. No, it doesn't work it. For MED size it doesn't work also uh, let me check what can be the problem ah, okay I need to move this margin to the component that is outside that is the row so if I come back here I keep it doesn't work in let me refresh my page. Oh Jesus, what is happening? Oh, now it is working. Okay. So, we are going to also remove this Q page from the index page. And let's fix this. Oh Jesus. Let's fix this indentation. Let me copy uh, this row to the layout because we are going to use this everywhere okay let's fix the indentation let's close the DVs okay and let's fix the indentation again nice we need to add the uh, this in this part of the layout because we have here the router view it is the content that comes from the the router that are going to be the the views the the page that we have so let me remove this close divs let's check that everything is working now what happens hmm. let me refresh File to compile. Uh -uh. Ah, I think I know what is happening. I need to have only one root component here in my in my page because now I'm having this both root components. So what I can do is to just create here a div and close it here and problem solved let's come back here and it is working okay so let's come back it's working and now it, the notes seem much more better okay so let's go here to that page let's fix the titles that we have we have the title the label okay and we are going to have here also a label that is my content let's add translations okay so we are going to have this title we are going to use translation by using these dots we can use like JavaScript or bindings inside this attribute so we are inside the add and we are going to add inside add a title the same here we are going to add here an add content okay let me add some translations the add section we're going to have a title and also a content. Okay. Let me check here. What happened? Okay. It worked. How oh, can I see? It does. It has some type of different style, yeah. 
so let's make it look the same. Let's add this outline. Let's check. It looks now the same. Very beautiful. And we can add here an add note button to save. The same button. I like it. So let's copy. Let's solve the the problem because here I am going to add the bottom, the, the bottom here and we are going to have the same problem because we are going to have two widgets as root widgets in the page so let's add a div outside to solve this problem let's close the div save and let's now see we just need to change this icon by coming here in the materials design icons and let me search for a done icon yep yeah, this icon done all and I like it let's use it okay so let me change here the icon to done all looks very beautiful so in the next class we can start to work in with the with variables with the model with our page and maybe we can also save the notes in the database so thank you so much for watching if you have any doubt please leave a comment and thank you so much for watching bye bye